Okay, everybody, I'm really, really excited today because I am being joined by the legend himself, Christian Condry. How are you doing today, Christian? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. So everyone who's watching this interview, please make sure you watch the full season of Sweet Tooth and then come back because we're going to be talking some spoilers here. Um, so Christian, I absolutely loved your relationship with Jeopard in this show. I think you and Nunzo had such a great chemistry. With that being such an important storyline, did you guys have to rehearse a lot to make sure you got your chemistry right or did that come just like naturally on set? That really came naturally because we never did a table read together and we never did a chemistry read. So it was just natural and we just met each other and it felt like we had this instant connection. We just instantly bonded and I felt like we knew each other for years and that we've been friends and, you know, offset, we, we did activities together, which I also thought really helped our chemistry. And, you know, getting to film eight episodes with him was such an amazing experience because, you know, he's so talented and I look up to him and I take different tips and tricks from him and I can incorporate that into my scenes too. So working with Nonzo was amazing. Yeah, no, that's, that's great. And it's interesting too, because that character of Jeopard in its relationship to Gus by the end of the season, you know, he comes around to him and I thought it was so interesting too, that he's helping him Gus's troubles through this line. He says, if science created me, then I don't have a mom or dad. Right. Do you, think Gus then finding out this truth about his origin will change him forever going forward in the show? Um, I think Gus is going to be, you know, the same cheerful dear boy he is. Always the same, looking for his mom, going on an adventure with his friends. I think that it changes him during that moment, but I think he stays strong and, you know, he pushes through with his hopeful heart and I think he's going to be that nice dear boy that, you know, as Gus. No, for sure. And in your portrayal of Gus, where did that kind of stem from for you? Did you read the comics beforehand to prepare or did it kind of come straight from the script? So part of it came straight from the script and part of it came from the comic books. So I read all the comic books by Jeff Lemire many, multiple, multiple times and learned so much from them about Gus and my fellow characters in um, the comic. And I really felt like I could bring that alive on the big screen. And, you know, I learned so much from this experience as playing Gus, you know, because I've never played such a unique role, part deer, part human. And, you know, getting to see all the hard work that me and my fellow castmates, you know, put into the show on the big screen is just so amazing. And all the production team, it's amazing to see how we brought it alive. So how serious do you take your process as an actor? Like, do you go outside and watch deer to get that deer part of it down? Or <laughs> you're not that crazy about it? <laughs> so we don't live in an area that has many deer. We live more in a city. So, you know, I couldn't really just go and look at deers. We had to watch videos on YouTube and we figured out how deers move and act and, you know, react. And I felt like it was so awesome getting to learn about deers and getting to do park war training for sweet tooth which was pretty awesome too and getting to do that was the most amazing experience ever because you know here i am talking to you about sweet tooth so it's amazing that's awesome man and you kill it so you do this role so good and what i wonder watching and i think a lot of people is i love about your character is the moving ears was that how did that operate like was that difficult to work with to time your emotions with those ears moving like how did that happen on set so you know you see this thing right here yeah that is a mold in my head and what a mold is is basically where you sit in a chair and well okay so it all started with me flying to la i sat down in the chair and i got a mold so they put layers of paste all over your face and shoulders and they can use that as a mold of you and to um what that mold is used for is for making a skull cap. We'll just call that. Oh no! <laughs> skull cap. <laughs> so broke. Um, and the skull cap has two little magnetic stubs on it, and because the antlers are magnetic, they can attach and deattach to the skull cap, which is pretty cool. And also, the oh. ears on the skull cap 
is um, remote controlled by a puppeteer who sits at the camera and watches me. And I really love the aspect of, you know, how we have to work together to really make Gus and his dear aspects come alive. Yeah, no, and it's it's probably the coolest part about the show. Now, going deeper into the character of Gus, how much of Christian did you find in Gus? I found literally everything in common with me. <laughs> wow. Well, except that he's a deer, we are the exact same. We <laughs> love running around, both love jumping, we both love sour gummies. Those are the best. <laughs> and Hell we yeah. love nature and we just love meeting new people. So I feel like me and Gus have a lot in common, which really helped, you know, bring it out onto the big screen. Speaking of the big screen, you know, Sweet Tooth is about a virus that sends the world spiraling into chaos and a new thing called hybrids emerge and hybrids are part human and part animal. And we focus on Gus, who's part deer, part boy. And he lives in the woods secluded with his father until he unexpectedly meets a wandering loner named Jeopard. And then together, you know, they set out on an adventure about family, friendship, hope to find, you know, Gus's origin and for Jeopard to redeem his dark past, you know, while at the same right. time, just making Offset, we're just realizing how, you know, we're making Sweet Tooth come alive. And I love the aspect of how, you know, we're so free, like the director, Jim Mickle, He's really nice and he's such a great director because, you know, he gives such amazing directions and he he makes it so amazing and simple to understand. So did every other director. And I really loved how Jim and the other directors, you know, gave me that free kind of thing. Like it's free, like yeah. I can incorporate certain things into my scenes, which is what I really love. Like, and I really love how we can be cooperative and kind of like teamwork. Sure. And yeah, it's really fun having getting to do that. Yeah, that's that's great that he let you guys kind of be loose with your portrayals and on set. That's awesome. Um, do you now, as an actor, are you someone who doesn't like to watch themselves after on screen, or will you watch the whole show? Um, I'm not so much of an actor who likes to watch myself on screen, but for this show, because I really feel like. You know, it was so amazing how we brought it to life. I, I've watched all eight episodes, but, you know, I'm always, like, criticizing my acting. Because... Of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm not a big fan of watching myself. <laughs> okay, but you did it for this one. You had to because it's so good, and you yeah, just yeah. do amazing. And everyone There's else nothing... is so amazing, and everyone was so great, you know, portraying their characters, and, you know, also the message that I want people to take away from the show is hope and optimism during dark times. Like COVID is, is a dark time and we really need that hope and optimism to, you know, push through it. So that's what I really love about Sweet Tooth. You get that message of hope and optimism. And I also love, so the comic book was pretty dark, but I really loved how Jim and everyone who wrote the script, you know, really changed it to make it more of a family friendly plot. So more families can watch it. Obviously, some children like me will need some parental supervision when watching it, but yeah. Sure. I really like no, I, yeah. So it's free for the whole family to watch. 100%. And I think that's what's going to just bring so many people to it. It's already getting such an amazing response from critics. How do you feel seeing that and then also seeing your face on these big billboards in like Times Square? That's got to be surreal, right? Yeah, um, you know, getting to see my face on billboards in Times Square is pretty cool because it's Times Square and it's a billboard. <laughs> and yeah, um, it's so amazing. You know, back to filming, it's so amazing seeing all the hard work that everyone put into the show when doing it so efficiently and effectively during COVID-19, which was a tough challenge to, you know, get through. But, you know, as on set, I really loved how the crew did such a good job at, you know, following the safety protocols while also staying focused on their objective. And I really love how we were all safe and they followed all the rules. And 
you know, before you got to set, you had to do the temperature check, and there were so many safety precautions, which was really good for everyone on set to keep them safe. And also, outside of set, New Zealand did such an amazing job at handling COVID. So I really feel like that was really good of everyone on set, how they did their job so well while also following the safety protocols. Yeah, and you you guys filmed, was some of it pre-COVID and then some was after, right? Yeah, so the first episode was written, well, not written, but we filmed it when I was like nine years old, which was like two years ago, two and a half. Right. So that was way before COVID. Like D- the DC comic was written back in 2009, way before COVID ever started. So I thought it was pretty timely how we're now filming the episodes right. two to eight during COVID. But episode one, we that was pre-COVID. And, you know, getting to that switch was so, um, you know, kind of tricky having to get used to all the protocols that we had to do. Because normally I'm not used to it because I never filmed the job during a pandemic or anything like that. So getting to do that was pretty tricky and a challenge, but at the same time, I really love how everyone, you know, did such a great job at handling it. Sure. Now, you know, because everyone's going to, it's going to give you so much attention the show and people want to know more about you. I'm curious. And the one thing on my head is you're so talented as an actor at such a young age. Is there someone you're getting inspiration from? Is there an actor or actress you look up to? Well, I looked up to, every actor and every actress you know because you know i can take so much like inspiration from them and you know because they're all so talented i learn different things from them and that's what i really love you know about movies tv shows and netflix because you know netflix has such a diverse range of movies which is really good because you know it helps me really take away different things from different shows which really helps me during my acting now, is there anything, speaking of shows and Netflix and movies, is there anything recently you've watched that you could suggest that maybe your fans would like to hear you're kind of into? Like any movies uh, or shows? A TV show that I've recently finished was Ragnarok season two. It's a pretty good show and I love it. But, you know, Sweet Tooth is coming out June 4th. <laughs> well, it has come out by the time you're seeing this interview, of course. But, you know, just watch Sweet Tooth because it's pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. And um, also, too, you know, you share on your Instagram, you, you seems like you do a lot of fun stuff like windsurfing, frisbee, very outdoorsy. Are you also, though, someone who likes to do like indoor hobbies? Like, are you a gamer at all? Is there anything you're into like that? I am a gamer. Yes, I am a gamer. And I love also playing the guitar inside my house. And I love just having fun with my dog and playing board games with my family, like my grandma and my grandpa and my mom. And some indoor hobbies I also like to do is sometimes I like to just come up with different ideas for scripts in my head. So that way, when I'm older, you know, I can write different scripts. Also, in the future, I do want to be a director and a producer and a writer, too, because I feel like that'd be very fun to do. Yeah, that's awesome. And you mentioned to guitar. I think you have those great videos you shred in Led Zeppelin, Foo Fighters. Uh, is that something you would want to even take more seriously as your career goes on? Maybe some music as well? Yeah, maybe I could perform different songs on stage, or maybe I could perform a a soundtrack for Sweet Tooth, which would be pretty fun. I love it. Um, You know, do you think, though, how many, if you could predict having someone who's read the comics and being in the show itself, how many seasons do you think they could do of this show? Like, how do you think this could be a long running show? Yeah, I think it could be more than five seasons, like, by the time I'm like an adult, the show could still be running. And I really feel like that'd be pretty cool. And I really am hoping for a season two. And I really hope that everyone loves Sweet Tooth when they watch it. So, well, you know, we can go back to New Zealand and film more of that to, you know, entertain our fans and everyone who's watching it more to make them, you know, happier. And that's what I really love about acting. Because, you know, you're making people happier. You're entertaining them. And, you know, getting that inspiration from different actors i really love that part of acting too because you know it teaches me so many things about acting and different aspects and sometimes when i'm on set you know me and my i just make new friends and you know i get to meet new people that's what i also really love about acting too see look at that and it it pays forward because you're going to inspire people saying stuff like that um and i think everyone's blown away performance and the show Everybody, make sure to watch Sweet Tooth. If you if you haven't already, watch it again. Watch it a bunch of times. It's on Netflix now. 
Um, and you can watch Christian just kill it here in the lead as Gus. Thank you so much, Christian, for joining me. And I hope to talk to you again in the future one day. Thank you. See you too.